Hi friends, how's it going? I cannot wait to show you. Have you guys ever tried this? Um, it's called Quick Tan. Y'all, I tried it on one of my legs. I'm gonna show you the before and after, um, but I'm gonna go ahead and put my skincare on so that it can be drying so that by the time I do my face later, my skincare is all dry. Um, we are going to do a fun, makeup look today, but I'm going to be showing a lot of products. So lots of different things from lots of different brands. Um, this is just stuff either I have bought or I have been sent. QVC sent us some fun stuff for Tarte. Um, some stuff like I bought this off Amazon. Uh, this is just a fun live. So get ready. Um, say hey when you're hopping on. Share this video. Comment share below and I'm going to give away a quick tan to a lucky winner. So it's an instant self tanner. And uh, the cool part is, is it's also a gradual tanner. So you're instantly tan and then you also are tan for up to three days and then you can use it several times a week and get tan. So I went outside today and it is hot as blazes here. Not kidding, it's like over 75 degrees tomorrow. It's supposed to be 83. It's crazy, our weather in Tennessee is just like that. Um, and I was like, I, first of all, don't have a lot of summer clothes that fit me. Um, last summer, I was probably at least 60 to 70 pounds heavier. And um, I just don't have a lot of summer stuff. So um, I do have these cute little short overalls, but my legs are so pale. And I was like, oh my gosh, well, I want to try this. And then I tried it on one leg and I'm like, I'm not doing anything else until we do it live because it's crazy. Um, okay. I used for skincare, I used Pomifera. Um, I've been using it for years. Plump has hyaluronic acid in it. It tightens your skin, um, helps with fine lines, wrinkles. It's just kind of like, some people call it Botox in a bottle. Like it's just so good. And then this is Brighten Serum, which is gonna help even out your skin tone. So I'm gonna put those on first. If you have any redness, sunspots, anything like that. This is going to help with those. Is our pool open? So we actually never closed our pool this winter or last winter. Um, we don't really have harsh winters here. So our pool's technically open, um, but we need to like, you know, treat it and get some of the leaves out. But no, the pool water will be really cold. Um, but I mean, I wouldn't put it past Christian. Sometimes he'll jump in or he even likes to jump in like and do like a polar plunge when it's like 60 um and the water's pretty cold and then he's like whoo and then he'll get out um but uh our pool will probably be open in the next two months i guess probably sometime in april the kids will start swimming um okay so letting this dry let's just get started i'm gonna take my rings off um just so i don't accidentally spray them and i have two different ways i'm going to like try using this so i used the quick tan. Um, this is in my Amazon storefront. So if you go to CourtneySwan.com and click Amazon storefront, like, or February favorites, that's where the quick tan is. And then I used this a little bit, which I definitely will use on my face. It's just like a blending brush also in my Amazon storefront. Um, but I'm going to use a, like some sort of tanning mitt. Um, any mitt works good. I'm not going to use this one because it looks like maybe I should toss this one soon. It's a little oxidized, but I'm going to use a tanning mitt to rub it in, but it says you don't even have to. So we're going to try this out. We'll see how it goes. Um, yeah, my cellulite looks so much better uh, when it's tan. I once heard somebody say like, if you can't tone it, tan it. And I have like kept that philosophy. Okay. So I'm going to show you the difference. So this leg, I put some on earlier and this leg I have not. So if you can see this one is glowing and this one is much more tan. Um, so we're going to get started. Okay. You're going to get a snowstorm. Oh my gosh. So we leave for Canada on the third. Um, and I am like so excited because the forecast says it's going to snow. We never see snow. Um, and so I am so excited for snow. So we're going to Montreal for our anniversary. We booked a dog sledding um, like experience. So I'm really excited about that. Okay, are y'all ready for this? Okay, so you shake it up really good and then you hold it about 10 to 12 inches and then you just spray it on. It dries instantly. Okay, 
And then I'm gonna take my little tanning mitt before I'm all dry. So like today, I could literally go out in shorts and not blind the world. I'm gonna continue on. You can like go as heavy or as light with it as you want. It smells good, which is a plus. I'm doing my feet. I don't even know if I need to like, maybe if you see any spots where you got like a little heavier in one spot than the other. But you guys, look at the instant difference. So it will gradually continue to get darker. Last, that's because I sat on my knee. Um, but like, look at this. So I did the top part of my leg um, before we went live because honestly, I was just trying it out. And then I was like, oh, gotta show this to you guys. Okay, we're gonna do the other side. Um, so this is available, super affordable, and it's, uh, go to CourtneySalon.com. I also linked it in the description of the video, um, but we have a lot of links today. So if you want all the links, drop the word me and I'll send you links. Okay, are y'all ready? Okay, if you start noticing that you got an area that looks like a little more pigmented than the other, take your tanning mitt and smooth it out. I mean, I've done crafts my whole life, so I feel like I'm a pro. I was training for this. Also, you can tell I need to shave my upper thighs. On the back, it's a little harder for me to see like the back of my thigh. So I just sprayed my mitt and I'm just rubbing it in. How cool is that? Okay, continuing on. So slow and controlled. you guys and you can do this like layers if you want but you'll be tan for several days sure I'm all fluid going to like do my foot really quick. <sighs> you guys. I mean, I had glowing legs. Okay. We're going to do my face. Um, probably do the rest of my body when I'm not live. I've talked about to Natalie, <laughs> um, about taking this off and like doing my chest and my, um, arms and stuff, but that might take a long time for y'all. Um, we're gonna, or maybe I will, who knows? Um, so let's try this. Ready? I've never done this before, so we're gonna see. And then taking this little guy. and blending. Ooh, you do it outside? Well, that's probably a really good idea. And then you could also try like, spraying it directly on your mitt. This is what I'm wearing today, so.
that on here and kind of like naturally contour with it. I know there were a couple comments about like your spray tea in your house, but I don't see any over spray. Um, and I don't see like my sweaters not, you know, I feel like I'm, look, it's good. You're scared to use tanner on your face? Oh yeah, I use it all the time. I love the tanning drops as well. Those have been really good to kind of give me like a gradual tan. Has anyone ever gone to a spray tan booth? Oh yeah. But I, uh, I don't leave my house nearly enough to you have to like book it with somebody. Also, I just really could like, I don't know. It's just kind of un uncomfortable for me. I don't want to be naked in front of someone spraying me. Um, so great. Here we go. Um, so the tanning drops, I don't have them in here. Where are they? Uh, oh, here they're, they're behind, they're hiding. These I just mix with lotion and I'll put on my face sometimes. Um, to be honest, that's probably, I would probably stick with using this, like just tanning drops on my face mixed with lotion. Um, it's something easy I can do daily, uh, but both of them kind of give you an instant tan. So summer is like literally coming. Um, but for my body, holy cow, the fact that like, you guys, my legs, are like, they were ghostly white. Um, and the, I'm gonna wear shorts and feel totally fine about it. That's exciting to me. Um, somebody just knocked at our door. Hang on. Hey, Skyla. I don't know who it is, but welcome to real life. She's got the baby. I don't know who's at my door. Hmm. Heard like knock, knock. But I don't see anybody. Sorry, folks. Well, I don't see anybody at all. Okay, well, never mind. I just didn't want somebody like. Did you hear somebody knock at the door? Or it sounded like a knock? No. Gotcha. The wind blew and closed the door upstairs. All right. No one, no intruders. All right. We'll continue on. She's got the baby. Okay. Uh, no, it's totally dry. It's not sticky at all. I'm going to be out of breath. Battle shape. Okay, um, today we're gonna be using this. Look how tan I am. Can you guys see? Oh, that's exciting. Super exciting. Um, okay, I'm gonna be using this today. It's from Tarte. It's called Maracuja um, Juicy Glow. I used this the other day and seriously, if you're looking for like a glowy summer foundation, this is amazing. So I'm using the shade 22B Light. It's like when you're in the shower and you think the baby's crying, right? I'm like, huh, I hear something. Okay, just putting a little bit on here. So this foundation reminds me if you did like 75% foundation and the other part was like luminizer like it is glowy it is beautiful it like screams I'm going to the beach type vibes or summertime it is like super glowy I want you to see so if you like the look of a dewy look or like a glowy especially if I'm going to the lake the beach anything like that. Um, I'm also going to order this in a darker shade so that when I'm really tan, um, I can use it. This kind of reminds you, it's like, 
a consistency similar to a BB cream, but it's full coverage and it's crazy glowy. So that's kind of the vibe for today's makeup look is like, so the bundle, I listed everything like I tried to go through and find however the most affordable option was for you guys. Um, and, uh, Natalie's a lot better at that than I am. So basically we went over what we were going to use and then she did a lot of research. So I want to give Natalie credit for that, um, for all of the finding our bundles. So there was a bundle where you get the brush and the foundation, um, and it ended up being cheaper that way. So that's what's listed. If you drop the word me or look at the links in the description, I'm going to zoom in. see how pretty is that so get started with that um going to use Tarte concealer so there's a, also a deal with this tiny concealer and hmm, there was something else with this tiny concealer crud you guys I don't remember what the deal is, but it's listed. There's a deal. Um, maybe it's with a, no, it's with the tiny concealer. I don't remember what it is. But there is a bundle, so just look in the description. Anything we could find, drop the word me, and hopefully you'll see. So this one is in the 22N light. Oh, I know what it is, is this. You get a sponge and a tiny concealer. Um, Mailman's here. So whenever I am going over like where I want to highlight, I will go kind of corner of my eyes and then out so that it lifts up. I do the center of my nose and my um, T-zone. I did not use a primer today. Uh, you could use a primer. You could use like a dewy primer um, to be honest. I just didn't think about it um, and I probably wouldn't have used a primer today because I used like the tanning stuff um, okay you could do this damp or dry I just don't know how that primer would have held up with the self tanner Is it greasy feeling? No, not at all. That's the craziest part. It literally feels just like BB cream, but your skin just looks like crazy, healthy, like glowy skin. I'm like, well, that's probably how they came up with the name. Juicy Glow. What's my favorite brand? So I use Ophir more than anything else. It looks really fantastic on my skin um, and it lasts a really long time. That's probably my number one. Second, I do love Tarte products. Um, I have really loved this. This will probably be something I use a lot this summer um, just to throw on like a BB cream and with some mascara. I like the look of this a lot. I think it is really a natural but glowy look. Um, but I genuinely just love makeup. <laughs> like, uh, I always have loved makeup, like since I was tiny, I just love it. And so um, I love to try new makeup. Um, it's one of the reasons I don't like to lock to a specific brand to only have to show their products is because if I see something like at TJ Maxx or if, you know, whether it's QVC or Amazon or whatever, like I just want to be able to show it. And if you want to buy it, you can, if you just want to see what it looks like on somebody, like without you having to buy it, it's awesome, you know? Okay. So this is the blush tape by Tarte. Um, and I try to keep it like as easy as possible as far as like, you know, if I'm doing a certain brand of things like staying cohesive because products just tend to work better that way um, and it's easier for the customer if I don't have like 15 all different branded items okay so this bundle 
that's listed in the description of the video includes a brush and a blush tape. And so this is gonna continue that glowy look. Um, I think it's important to show a lot of different brands, a lot of different products. Some are really good for like, like this would be a great look for dry skin. You know, this would be something um, that would be really good for like older skin. Um, but not all products or brands work for every skin type. So I just like to be able to, I really just like makeup and I like showing, um, showing it. <laughs> Okay, now I'm gonna go in with the Shape Tape in the concealer. The way this works is you spin it, and then um, my kids have used mine, so it's so saturated, I don't have to squeeze it, but it technically would squeeze out of the top. Um, a little goes a long way with these. See, look, that would be Lexi Kate. She's obsessed with these. That's way too much, I'm gonna transfer to the other side like using my finger. So if that ever happens, don't add more. Just kind of use what you had. We're going to make that work. Same reason I didn't go all the way up with that one because I was like, whoa, I have a lot of product. So I know I could just blend it. for foundation. And I'm going to go right under my jawline, my chin. And then I'm gonna blend this really well. And that's gonna give you the illusion of just less of a double chin. Cause now it's in the shadows and then more of a chiseled jawline. Cause it's just creating a little bit more of a shadow. Seriously, looks like I've been at the beach. And I have not. <laughs> I could use a trip to the beach. Um, right under your lip, if you will put a little bit of bronzer or contour there, it'll give another shadow and it makes your lip look fuller. The tanning drops I've been using are Tan Luxe. Um, I linked those in the description of the video as well for those who don't wanna do like a spray type tan situation and you just are looking for something that you could mix with your moisturizer, that's an awesome option. I'm gonna put my little overall on my shoulder here. Okay, so going to use a setting powder. QVC sent us this, I'm excited to try it. And the little brush that I've been using, you can either buy individually or it comes in this bundle. So I think it's like a brush and two powders uh, is the bundle that they have offered. The cool thing about QVC and one of the things um, that you, you know, can look at as a benefit from them is they have after pay, like five or easy pay. It's five payments, it's interest free. And so, oh, this says it's, my shade, but I don't think this is my shade, you guys. This, it says it's 26 in, which is the light medium neutral. I'm gonna try it on my hand first because what I don't wanna do is like use this and it'd be too dark. That really packed a lot on this brush. Holy moly. Look at that, it like almost covered up my, okay, so I'm gonna use, just a tiny bit of that, whatever was left over on my brush. 
Oh no, we have somebody said I have a big mark on my jaw. Thanks. You know? So one of the pros and cons about getting ready zoomed into a phone is I am in like a, a screen this big. So plus half my screen is comments. So it's really a miracle. Whoa, that had a lot of product on it. Holy moly. My goodness, I've like not dipped this back in at all. That's just what's in this Kabuki brush. Like after doing it. So if you have this, I would barely tap it into your powder. This is beautiful. So you still have that glowy look. So what I'm using right now is it's the Tarte High Performance Naturals Amazonian Clay. It is a full coverage blendable powder and it comes like in a little thing like this, but I barely had any on my brush and this like was so pigmented and this is such a dense brush that if you are needing like a full coverage powder, this is amazing. How pretty is that? I mean, I'm gonna zoom it out so you can see like not quite as close. Love this brush. Hands down, favorite brush of the year is this little guy from Tarte. It is so stiff. It blends out. It's like gives you this really airbrush look, whether it's with a liquid foundation, um, whether it's with a powder. It's just so good. Now, your little thing comes with a sponge too, but I like the brush. So that collection comes with that. Okay, these are so wonderful if you like a luminizer um, kind of continuing that little glowy vibe that we're doing so this is a moxie this little glow luminizer stick Again, just like a summer, summer glow. Okay, I can't wait to show you the eyeshadow palette we're gonna use today. We're gonna do our brows and finish up this cute little makeup look. I'm gonna get the kids from school. So this is the Precisely My Brow by Benefit. I love that it's a little fine tipped brow pencil. It lasts a long time. And it's a, it's just, it's a great brow pencil. I like to do a line filling in the outside and then on the inside of my brows, I really only like 
hit my brows where I have kind of a bald spot, um, I don't actually fill in my, my whole brow. I did pluck my eyebrows today. They were in desperate need. I looked very, very hairy. Okay, this is the Fluff My Brow by Benefit and it is a brow wax. Um, I can't do like the furry brow trend I've tried, but this is as close as I can get to it. So I take some brow wax after I've already done my brows and then I kind of push them all up, but instead of leaving them like this, although a lot of people do do theirs like that, um, I just haven't been able to get on the trend, but I will take and like make it to where they were like all fluffed up and everything and all going the same direction but I don't leave them like wild but if you like wild brows do wild brows I have friends that have like really bushy brows and they look stunning I just haven't been able to get on the trend but like they wear their brows just like that so if you're looking on like how can I get that like bushy brow kind of trend. Um, this fluff my brow wax is how you could do it. It's, but I haven't been able to get on that trend. So I mean, I guess I could, I could just leave them like this, but it's not my favorite for my, I have like dense brows anyway. So I'm like, I probably don't need to be on that trend. Huh? Am I still doing laser hair removal? Yes. I actually got it done. Monday. It was my third time. I'm not kidding you. So I go to Premier Medical Aesthetics in Chattanooga. That's where I go for whatever med spa type treatments. It's my third time going. Just after two times, I have at least half the amount of armpit hair and like everywhere hair. Even my hair that's growing in is like super thin. They have this machine that it zaps you to like laser your hair, but then it shoots out like that crap is it cryo, like cold, super ice cold, like of air. And so I would say it's a one. I mean, I talked to her the whole time. I'm not wincing. I'm not scared. I know what to expect. Um, it is like, I mean, scale of one to 10, definitely like a one, maybe two, like when you have your knees to your chest and she's doing like some very sensitive areas, but not bad at all. Um, and even if you couldn't get all like treatments of the, cause it's eight to 10 treatments. Um, so if, I would say it's worth it. Even if you could just get two to three, if you just want to be like less hairy, like, I don't know, I've been shaving my armpits, like maybe once or tw like once every one to two weeks. Um, it's crazy. Okay. Are you guys a fan of the wild brows or do you, are you not a fan? Kind of what's your thoughts on uh, the bushy brows? That's the trend. Um, I wish I could do it. I just don't think it looks good on me, but I have so many friends that that's how theirs are and it looks so good on them. But I look like a werewolf. I'm not kidding. Okay, today we're using Tartlet, right? It's Tartlet Energy. This is an Amazonian clay palette as well, just like the powder was Amazonian clay. Um, most of the products we were using today are, are tarts. Some of them are not. Some snicks. I don't know. We have like a smorgasbord um, of products. Oh, sad day. So I've never used this, but it looks like it's already been dropped a, at least one good time or it came in the mail like this. So I'm going to have like a little... Isn't that the worst when you get something in the mail and it's like already, I don't know, like been dropped? I feel like that's the worst. Okay, so the bundle that I listed in the description of the video includes a brush and an eyeliner and an eyeshadow palette. Um, it's just cheaper when you buy it that way and so that's what is linked. Okay, look at these colors. How pretty. Okay, so we're gonna continue on this like journey of um, golden goddess kind of tone. And that's what we're gonna do today. So this is the color Aura. 
and it's like this really beautiful um, coppery shade. I didn't realize that I'm so zoomed in you couldn't see. So this is like the fluffier side of this um, blending brush. This is the stiffer side, but they're both pretty fluffy. Um, actually gonna go in with this lighter color. I haven't used this palette before. I just opened it up. So I'm just gonna kind of feel out the colors and see what I wanna use where. So I feel like maybe that shade's gonna be a better transition and then I'll use the copper on the lid. Welcome to Facebook Live where we're figuring this out together. Okay, so I think this Invigorate shade right here, a lot of times when you're using a crease color um, or like your transition shade that's going in between the lid and your crease, I will often go with like a light brown, not a dark brown, but when you put it on like my skin tone and it's in that little area that's got a shadow anyways, it tends to look darker than what it actually looks like on the palette. These colors are so pretty. Okay, we're gonna go in with the shade Charged. And that is the shade right here. These are shimmery. I have two Tarte palettes that are like crazy shimmery and I would put this in the same category. So if you're, it's not necessarily glitter, but it is shiny and beautiful. Like the colors are popping, they are pigmented. I also love really good colors that you could wear as like an everyday eye look. You know, like you only need to know how to do two maybe really good eye looks that you're like hey these are my go-to the rest you can just play with and have fun but if you have one or two that you're like hey when I do this it looks good you're winning okay now I'm gonna go in um kind of cleaned off my finger with that shade peaceful it's a much brighter gold What brand is this? So this is called Tartlet. Um, I have the link listed in the description of the video, or if you drop the word me below, I can send you all the links. My inner nose is like itching. Sorry, you guys. It's like, okay. So I love a bright inner corner highlight. You could also use, I mean, if you don't like using your fingers, use like a little small brush to get in there. You could totally, Take this, tap off your excess, and you can easily get in here and do. I just, I don't know why I tend to use my fingers. <laughs> why not? But you can really pack that like bright inner. Look at that color. Okay, now we're gonna go in with that Aura shade. Um, I typically will stick with two to three colors um, and all kind of like from that crease, these are in the same family. So we used Invigorate um, in our crease here. We, are, we used Peaceful and Charged, so that's three. And then this fourth little shade I'm gonna use is in the outer corner and it's called Aura. I'm not gonna really, I could do more. I mean, you could add pinks in there, you could add bright gold, you could make this like, uh, I don't know, as crazy as you want. Um, but I feel like for people to actually be able to duplicate it, um, the simpler, the better. And I'm just kind of going like in a little V here and then take the fluffy side of that brush and blend that out. 
you can see the difference using that darker color on the lid here versus this one. So if you don't like that, you could just stick with this. If you're like on the go in a hurry, um, it looked pretty how it is, but we're just gonna add just a little extra like pizzazz. So it honestly looks like it ombres from bright gold to like a champagne color to a copper. And this is where I'm gonna get like a little wild maybe for some of you, but we're gonna try it. So I'm gonna take this same peaceful shade that under to like the corner of my iris here and then I'm gonna take this aura golden color and I'm gonna use a green eyeliner today it's gonna be like a green green but I want to go ahead and get this under my lash line so that it's already there could have also, if you don't like shimmer on your lower lash line, you could have you could use just um, either a dark brown or a light brown. Just depends on what you like. You could also have taken like a dark chocolate or a maroon and a like slanted brush and you could make a wing. I mean, there's so many things you could do with this palette. I really love these colors and it's, they all go together. Like the maroon and the gold go together, the pink and the purple, like they're very, they can like cross coordinate. And so that's important to me because you could get tons and tons of different looks. Just like that. Okay, this is the color green I'm talking about crazy wild bright green. Um, this is not going to be for everybody, but I feel like for summertime, this is going to be amazing. Um, and with these coppers, and then once I have my mascara on, so don't hate it yet. I know it's a little bold. And I take it and I will like kind of smudge it up towards here. I love greens. I love emerald. And then um, this is like a bright, bright green. And I am so excited to use it today. Ideally, I would wear this when I have an outfit that has some sort of green or St. Patrick's Day is coming up. Um, there are a lot of cute trendy outfits that have like, like Gucci has a pair of like little shoes. They're like a rubber um, green. <laughs> they're really cute. Uh, they're expensive, so I haven't bought them, but I, I, they're on my Pinterest board. Uh, but green is just like, you'll see a lot of green this spring and summer um, and purples. Also wear this with pink. I don't know, I'm here for the green. Okay. And then again, now that I've kind of like smudged things around, you can't quite see. Just taking that little copper um, color aura and going right. I thought you would be able to see it by doing it first, but you couldn't. So I'm going in right now after I've lined my eyes. I'm just putting that right under my eyeliner. Cannot wait for you to see this with mascara on. Um, we are going to use, uh, I have a sample of this, um, or like a small, 
like a little travel version. Um, but I also have the bigger version of Man Eater by Tarte, but it's dried out. So I was like, well, perfect. I will use this. But uh, QVC has the Man Eater by Tarte mascara on sale for the big version for $20 right now. So I linked that and I will show you. I also have some makeup on my contact. Let's see what this looks like. This would be really cute for St. Patrick's Day. You could also maybe go in with that green under your um, waterline. Like tight lining. See, it could just be the reflection from the lights, but normally your skin shows up like satin smooth today. It looks like orange pill. So there's a total reason. So um, today I used more of like a BB cream type foundation. Normally I use Ophir's foundation and it does have like a very satin finish. It's um, also, I will set it with like their setting powder and it normally does have like a very, very satin finish. And today um, I used that um, oh, Maracuja Juicy Glow, and it's a very natural, like, more natural makeup, and, um, uh, it just gives you, like, like, you can see, like, texture in my skin, you can see that it's really glowy, um, but I will say, like, that's one of the things I love about it is, like, it's not, like, a full, like, it does give you full coverage, but not, like, a heavy makeup look. So it's just a total preference. I would consider this like a much more natural, um, like I love both, love both looks, but I would consider this more of like a natural, like going to the beach, going to like not looking like I'm, uh, I did do a heavy makeup look, but, uh, for eyeshadow, but I guess it's like not a, sometimes I'll do like a makeup look and it definitely looks like powder finish, like a heavy finished makeup look. And so this is just kind of like a little more of a natural, but there's no like right or wrong reason or way to do it. Um, it's just strictly preference. And hopefully by showing people different ways, different products and different things that um, you can see like, ooh, well, I think I like the way your skin looks better using these products then that might be your preference. Or you might say, oh, I don't like the look of like more of a heavier makeup. I wanna look more natural, but an even skin tone. Then this might be something you like. But just, you know, trying to show a lot of different options for all the different people that like all different things. <laughs> You're always scared to use colored eyeliner with blue eyes. Oh, go for it. I'm telling you, it is so pretty. I love using purples, um, navies, like bright blues, even pale blue, um, pink. I haven't found like a color that I don't like. I love using colorful eyeliners and they're so on trend right now.
And if you like this eyeshadow look, but you're like, I'm not into colors, then you could totally just use like a brown eyeliner or no eyeliner at all. So you could do this without like a fun green pop to it. Again, completely your choice. No makeup police. I don't want to let this dry, but I don't feel patient enough for that today. Oh, I really need to. It's not going to work the way I want with it wet or with my lashes wet. Okay, let's do lips. Um, this is such a cute color. It is the Magic Maker by NYX. I have it linked in my Amazon storefront and in the description of um, the video. I like this lip liner because it's a creamy lip liner. Some of the NYX lip liners I feel like are chalky. The one I'm about to use next I do feel like is a chalky liner. Um, but the color ends up fine. So, and I have it and whatever. But this one is the NYX Line Loud. Um, it's also in the, like you can crank it and you don't have to sharpen it. Um, but it's just a creamy. Like I absolutely love this one. And I don't know why some of theirs are creamy and some of the hairs aren't like I don't know but so if you want the illusion that your lips are a little fuller you can go in to the outer corners and this is how I line my lips so I overline just a little bit sometimes people say they look too full but oh well it's just how I like to do my lips um, if you think it's too full this way, then you don't have to do yours this way. But I, and then I'll kind of smudge it out and in the outer corner, I put the darker shade. Okay. Then I'll go in just not getting this like exactly how I want it. Again, I have it super zoomed in so I can only see a tiny portion of my face. Um, 
I need to get like an iPad or something. Uh, this is the one that I love the color, but I feel like it's chalky. But once I put lip gloss on it, you, it's fine. Um, but this one is the retractable lip liner by NYX as well. I think it was $4. So I mean, oh well, what do you expect? But this one's pinky beige, but I just feel like I don't love it nearly as much as I love the other one, but I do like the color. But can you see what I'm talking about when I say chalky? You're gonna look ridiculous for a second but it's just not like as creamy as the other one and some of my other liners I don't know it's just but it works for a good ombre so by making the inside of your lip look lighter and the outside darker it's gonna give you the illusion of um, fuller lips and then I'm going in this is the shade peaches and cream I'm actually gonna Now that I put that pink color on, I already know I'm gonna want more there. So then I'm gonna take this. And focus it mostly in the center. And then barely tap on the outer edges so that it's glossy too. Everything kind of blends together. figure out how you want your liner to make your lips look the way you like them to look. So this is like my finished look. I'm going to take my wild hair down um, and put it in like a little low bun and a hat and show you guys like a more finished, sleeker version. Maybe even just like this and no hat. Uh, I've talked about this before but the power of a low bun is so life-changing. Um, I am a big fan of a messy bun. I wear them around my house all the time, but here recently, it just, I just look more put together whenever I have a low bun than if I have a um, high bun. So anyways, I know we went over a ton of products um, today, lots of different brands, lots of different, hopefully you enjoyed it. Hopefully for those of you who are like, I wanna see different things, This helps you to see all the different things um don't you hate it when you've like sat somewhere in your underwear it's like like rolled under your like squishiness and you're like i gotta fix that um this is just for those wanting i saw somebody say can i see your finished outfit so um i tanned using that instant tanner so i'm significantly darker than i was earlier i'm actually just gonna go out like this um i have on like this little cute sweater under these overalls. It is hot here today. So this is going to be my finished look. Uh, in between whether or not I'll wear a hat with it, but this is the hat I was going to wear. If so, I might wear a hat and then some little black shoes. I feel like this is kind of fun. Anyways, hope you guys had a good day. Um, hope you like this look. I love the green. If you have questions about anything, just uh, send me a message. Or if you want links to the products that we use today, then drop the word me. Uh, I have the outfit linked. I have worn these overalls with like so many different things. They have like this stretchy band. So they're super comfortable, really stretchy. I don't know. They're just like, I'm not a huge I can't pull off overalls, but I feel like the way these hit and like their little pockets, I just love these overalls. Um, so I do have a discount code for them as well. And then you could put any sort of sweater, t-shirt, whatever. I mean, they're just overalls, um, bodysuit, whatever you want to wear with it. So uh, this is just a fun little look. 
and I wanted to get ready with you guys today. So anyways, um, bye guys. Have a good day.